Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. We celebrate the feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Again, this is one of the most misunderstood feasts in the church because it's about Mary being conceived without sin. Not Mary conceived without sin, but Joachim and Anne conceiving Mary without original sin. So as you begin, let's kind of think about the Blessed Virgin Mary, the life she led. The big question is, would we want to be Mary or Joseph in this journey? For the times we forgot how important it is that we trust in God, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. We glorify God as we pray, glory, glory to, to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten God, Son, Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you, Father, you, take, away the the you take, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, Father have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of Blessed Virgin Mary, prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son. Grant that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman who you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing, Sing to, to the Lord, Lord a new song, for he, for he has, has done, done marvelous, marvelous deeds. deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing, Sing to, to the, the Lord, Lord a new song, song for, for he, he has, has done, done marvelous, marvelous deeds. deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing, Sing to, to the, the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing, Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we, in him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ, the word of the Lord. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. To you, Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And come to her, he said, hail full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom. There will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I have no relations with a man? The angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be but done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I recently read um, something by a woman named Debbie Thomas. She wrote Advent Reflections a couple years ago. She gave it in the Washington National Cathedral, uh, a webinar during COVID. And um, I think she's really captured um, the importance of this feast. It's entitled, You Will Bear. A peasant girl's life was changed when God's angel utters these three words, you will bear. But Debbie Thomas writes, Mary bore a great deal more than an infant. Mary bore the initial suspicion and disappointment of her fiance, Joseph. Mary bore the pain and labor and delivery of her firstborn child in threadbare circumstances far from home and family. She bore the complicated guilt and relief of this survivor whose own baby lived while countless others in Herod's realm died in his place. She bore the horror of all parents whose children go missing and when she finally found her 12-year-old boy discussing theology in the temple. She bore the bewilderment of having a child who was already surpassing her, becoming a young man she could neither contain nor comprehend. And like so many mothers and fathers across history, Mary stood under a lynching tree and bore the unspeakable pain of watching her child die. Alongside that horror, she bore the humiliation of having a supposed criminal for a son. The angel says, you will bear Mary replies, let it be done. God bless. For women waiting to give birth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of the unborn, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For grandmothers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For godmothers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For families, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I want to mention one of our intentions today is for health and God's blessings for Father Alco. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of God's holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer, Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her, on account of your prevalent, prevalent grace to be untouched by any stain of sin so that through her intercession we may be, del be delivered from our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. You preserve the blessed, most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth his son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people 
an advocate of grace, and a model of holiness. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, and drink this, this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. We remember Carmen Maffei, Goose Shally, deceased members of the Colonus and Lawrence Poloni families, Jack and Carmela Salvaggio, whom you've called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. It's offered to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sin, sin of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, o Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the sacrament we received, O Lord our God, heal us in the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserved the blessed Mary in her immaculate conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide this journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good weekend, everyone.